by KCT 2026 champions. So your midterm exams would have been over or going to over in a few days. So now once the midterm exams are over, you get a reality check about your level of preparation. And it's high time now to be serious about your KCT 2026 examination. So in this video, I'm going to share a detailed strategy, what you should be doing after your midterm, how to analyze your result and how to channelize your preparation from now for the next five months so that you can secure a top rank in your KCT examination and do well in your PU2 boards as well. So let's get started. So let's see what we have in today's video. So let's see what we have in today's video. First of all, I'll tell you how to get a reality check about your preparation. Second, how to do syllabus mapping and a monthly plan. What should be your daily study routine here onwards? What should be your revision strategy and some smart resources that I'm going to tell you, okay? So now let's move forward. First is the reality check, see. Midterm exams are something where already half your portions are done, right? You have given a test on these portions. So definitely, this is going to be something very, very important. The results of here is something going to decide what is your level of preparation. So please analyze your uh, midterm paper and understand what were the mistakes that you did? What types of mistakes if you did? If there were silly mistake, calculation mistakes, these can be handled in a different way. But if you have done conceptual mistakes, then it is high time that you have to re-read your concepts, rebuild your concepts, right? So first of all, that is why take a proper analysis of your midterm paper. Okay, analyze the result and you have to make a list. These lists you have to make where you have to write your strong chapters, okay, or strong subject and then chapters you have to list down and you have to just keep revising those chapters. Whichever are average chapters where you have done less mistake, you need to do more practice and the weak chapters you have to rebuild from the basics. So basically, strong chapter you would have got good marks. Average chapter you would have done mistakes like suppose silly mistake, calculation errors if you have done then you are good in concepts but you have done small mistakes here but if you are like completely weak means you have done conceptual mistakes in these chapters then you have to rebuild them from basics so you have to analyze your paper and make a list like this strong average and weak for subjects okay so basically you can write down for example you are average in uh, chemistry, you are uh, weak in uh, physics, you are strong in maths. So in that also you should be, if you are strong in maths, there will be certain chapters where you are weak. So just mention them, make a list where you write, go subject wise, maths, what are, what are your strong, weak and moderate chapters. Chemistry, strong, average and weak chapters. So similarly make a list for all the subjects, okay. Moving forward, we have a syllabus mapping and monthly targets. So if I, I have uh, whatever discussion, whatever syllabus majority of the students have told me regarding their midterm, what I understood is in physics, six more chapters are left. Okay, so out of 14, eight chapters were there, six chapters are left. Similarly, in chemistry, out of 10, almost six, uh, five chapters are done for midterm and five chapters are left. Similarly, in mathematics, out of uh, 13, almost I can say, uh, Nine, uh, nine chapters are done and four chapters are left. This may vary according to you, according to your school and college syllabus, but this is what I'm going to give you a rough idea here. Next, bio, uh, there are six chapters still left in your final exams, means to be taught. So now what you have to do in the next four to five months, you have to focus on these chapters which you have not read at all, means which, you, which is not taught in your school or college, okay? So I have divided these chapters in these months. You can see, uh, so total there are almost uh, 21 chapters. So in mid-October to November, seven chapters, November chap seven chapters and December seven chapters you have to target, okay? Apart from these seven chapters, you have to revise the revise the previous chapters, okay? So this is your subject wise distribution. You can just check it and you can change this one according to your, like suppose this numbers may vary and based on that you can change and which subject you are strong and weak, based on that also you can change this one, okay? So what you have to do, list out the remaining PU2 syllabus and KCT proportion side by side and then make monthly targets. So your task is to fill the name of these chapters. So if I have targeted to complete 
seven chapters. Out of that, two physics chapters should be there. So what are these two physics chapters? Name them. Chemistry, what are these? Maths 1 and Bio, what are the two chapters that you should prepare? So if you have this, you have a monthly target, right? And you are now and uh, know that, okay, these many chapters I have to complete and that will help you to complete your syllabus on time. Okay, now moving forward. What should be your daily study routine? So first of all, to understand your daily study routine, you need to know what are the things that we do and our time is uh, gone there and how, many how much time we have left for our self-study. So seven hours, I'm assuming all of you should take a proper sleep because that is very important for your productivity. Next seven hours will be uh, spent in your school or college. Next, you will have four hours for your daily course. Okay, this may even go for eight hours for some students. After that, how much we are left? So suppose, let me take it seven. This is eight and this is four. So almost 19 hours are gone here. Okay, out of, after that, we are still left with five hours. Okay, five to six hours. We are left with five to six hours. Now, I will be telling you the breakdown of these five to six hours okay so first thing you have to do always is to revise whatever taught in school now how will this help you this will help you to remain up to date and will never create backlogs if you follow this next you have two hours for subject one okay which is which one you will take here difficult one one difficult subject you need to choose here okay difficult subject and you have to study it for two hours so out of six hours, two plus three went. Next, one hour, what you have to do for a subject two. This you can take an easy or an average subject. Okay, easy or average subject you can choose here. Okay, after that you are still left with two hours or if you are taking five hours, you may left here with one hour. Okay, so this will vary from one to two hours. So here you have to do intense question practice. Okay, this is very, very important please focus on question practice okay this will help you so only reading will not help at this point of time the more you do question practice better will be your concepts and uh, hold over the subject so you have to do question practice now my suggestion is or my uh, thing that i want to suggest here is till the month of december okay the question practice should be kct focused Okay, KCT or even Comet K if you are writing, KCT and Comet K focused. Okay, after that means in the month of Jan and Feb, you can shift your question practice to PU2 focused. Clear? Now moving forward uh, is the next is revision strategy. This is very, very important. Uh, because if you just keep studying and do not revise anything, then you will end up in just forgetting. And then again, when you have to study, you have to start from the scratch. So the first thing is you have to do daily revision. Daily, you have to spend 15, 20 minutes to revise whatever you have studied in that particular day. Next comes weekly revision. Here, you have to spend half a day. So just take a Sunday. And in half Sunday, just prepare or just revise whatever things you have studied in the whole week. And the best way to revise is to do question practice especially for subjects like physics and maths where it is more numerical based just solve some questions that will brush up your concepts next we have monthly revision so at least one to two days you can allot and revise whatever you have studied in the entire month okay so here also focus on uh, more on question practice Clear? So now they're talking about the best resources for KCT uh, 2026 preparation. You definitely have your NCRT books and PYQs. But apart from that, there is something which can really help in your preparation. That is our KC90 online crash course. Okay. So this crash course is both for KCT and Comet K aspirants. You can even take it individual. So let's uh, first tell me, uh, first let me tell you what all things we offer. So entire PU1 and PU2 syllabus coverage, chapter wise PYQs. IQs and DPPs. Next, you will have Abhyas KCT and Comet K test series. You will also have here PU2 board test series. Okay, so your PU2 board is also uh, catered here. Live doubt solving classes will be there. Downloadable notes and PDFs you will get and our access to our exclusive WhatsApp community. Okay, now talking about the prices. So if you take both KCT and Comet K online crash course, you will get at 999, whose actual price is actually 20,600. But at a discounted price, now 50% mega offer is going on. So you will get it at 999. 
Next, if you want only KCT 90 days crash course, you can get it at 5999. And if you take only Comet K 90 days crash course, you can get it at 5999. Okay. So that is all about uh, this crash course and all the links are available in the description section. You can definitely check there. So students, please now get serious about your preparation. Midterm is over, hardly four or five months are left. If you grind yourself, if you just uh, put all your efforts from now onwards, definitely you can crack this exam. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and do consider this crash course this is going to be your one stop solution for top 1000 rank in KCT and Comet K 2026 examination thank you and all the best